Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here, Plan with Elise. And today we're setting up my budget planner for the month of July. So I've got a gigantic cutting, cutting board, cutting, what's it called? Paper cutter, paper trimmer here. Um, I have a small like plastic one that I don't love. And my mom actually had this lying around. So the first thing I'm going to do, although I gotta figure out how to use this thing. Why is there no like spot for me to line it up, but it's okay. Oh, that's such a nice, satisfying, oh, I guess I should have done it this way. A nice, satisfying cut as opposed to my old one. So this is one of my printables in my Etsy shop. I'm going to be using this. Whoops. This isn't, that didn't work. Hmm. Let's try the other side. This is sticker paper, um, actually, which I don't normally use for this, but I'm going to show you why I'm going to use it. And it might just be a little hack that you end up deciding there's something wrong with this. I don't really understand. I think there's like a thing here. Oh, that's a lock. That would have been helpful when I almost sliced my hand the other day. So I don't know. We're going to, that, that'll get figured out. Okay. <laughs> so I need to spend some time, while I'm not changing my lineup for July, I do need to spend some time figuring things out in my budget planner. Because I remember when I set up my budget planner for the year, I really only set it up through July. So I have a lot of like figuring out to do. Um, and that's going to come with time. I don't know if it'll be a video or not. You know, there's definitely certain things as a creator that I want to share with you, but there's other things that I need to like work through in my brain first before I feel like it's ready to share. This says May. If you saw one of my last budget videos, there was like a mistake. I don't really understand. So we're just going to go with it and I'll know that it is for July. So I have a sheet of note paper in here for my budget drafting. And then you also have this, but I'm missing the 31st. So I'll add that in. <laughs> I may just actually use a pen to add that in because I'm not that picky. Until I get like fully settled in my house, there are some things that I'm just going to have to be okay with being as is. So this is the sheet that I'm going to cover up. Now, what I really should have done is actually trimmed for, excuse me, trimmed further. I'm just going to use my scissors. The reason that I cut this out on sticker paper is so that I don't have to punch it. I do have a punch, but this is also a really good trick. If you don't have a punch or maybe you're not, you don't feel like you're good at punching, like sometimes it can be hard to get everything lined up. So I have this available in my shop with both a Sunday start and a Monday start. I think typically I actually do the Sunday start. I should really be lining it up this way. But this time I decided to do the Monday start since the weeks in this actually start with Monday. I'm also realizing <laughs> That because my sticker paper is a little bit less thick than the regular printer paper I use, you can see a little bit through it. Again, this month we are very much in the let's get it planned, even if it may not be perfect mode. Okay, now first thing I want to do is get my bills and my paydays down in this monthly overview. So I have these Build You stickers from Proud Sticker Designs, and that is what we're going to be using here. So typically, the first will be my mortgage and my HOA fee. However, I don't owe that in July because I already paid it. I paid it when I closed on the house. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I don't need to do that for this month, but instead we're going to put down everything else. So. That's really the only bill that's going to change. There's also a change because normally I would pay Verizon, which is my phone, was my phone bill and my internet bill on the same day. However, or in the same bill, because my current house does not have Verizon hookup, I had to go with Optimum, which I was like very unhappy about <laughs> and I'm still unhappy about it. Um, I'll have to pay those two separately. So that is one of the things that I'm going to have to be mindful of is that those both need to be paid separately. The reason that I'm unhappy with Optimum is because 
it's a lot slower. Even though I have the fastest optimum speed possible. By the way, this is my Proud Sticker Designs budget book, so we're going to use the stickers in here to coordinate with these bills once I find them. I know we put them in order. Here we go. Okay, so house, I don't have to do that one this month. Um, it's, it's still slow internet. In my old apartment, when I had Verizon, it would typically take like 10 minutes to upload a video, maybe a little bit longer if it was a long video. Now it's taking like 45 minutes. And the reason that that's challenging for me as someone who does social media on the side of my full-time job, I think this would be challenging for anyone to make the switch. But where I especially find it hard is because typically I'll film a video, I will edit and upload it right away. And then a few, like I'll go about whatever I need to do. Maybe it's, you know, blow dry my hair or take out the trash or something. And then I come back and the video is ready for me to either schedule or put as unlisted or share as a Patreon exclusive. Now I can't do that because it takes 45 minutes. And when it's a morning filming video or a lunch break one, like I'm on now, it's going to take longer and I might forget about it. So it's going to mean that I have to plan a little bit better. <laughs> there may be a little bit of a process where, or not process, there may be a little bit of a learning curve. Like if there's a video that was supposed to go up and you don't see it, that it went up, it might be because I forgot to do the scheduling. So that's the only reason so far <laughs> that I'm annoyed about being forced to, to make the change. Okay, so we have Netflix. Um, I was actually looking for a phone one that I don't know that I have. Hmm. I don't know that I have a phone one, so I may need to be placing a Proud Sticker Designs order. You can use code Elise20 for a discount on yours, and I'll have Nicole's shop link below. So that was going to be for here. And then Patreon, I'm actually pausing on my Patreon memberships. Um, not my Patreon, like where I provide content and perks, but I'm pausing on other Patreons. It's a budgeting decision that I made for now. I don't know if it'll be permanent, but I've had some very high unexpected costs in the process of moving, um, like painting expenses, hiring painters, a little mishap with the painters, and also a much more expensive moving cost for the moving company than I expected because we went over the quote by like four hours. Um, and it was an additional like $210 an hour. So that was a big, uh, a big cost too. Oh wait, maybe there is a phone one. I just didn't have it in order because I wasn't using it. Gas vacation. I love these stickers because they fit so nicely in here. Coffee, pet. Oh, laundry icons. These are going to be helpful. I kind of forgot about what I had in here. I hadn't looked thoroughly through it because I was only grabbing what I needed. Hmm. I don't know if there's a phone one or I'm missing it or I don't have it. But I'll get that figured out. I mean, it's automatic, so it's not like I shouldn't have it in my planner, but because it's an automatic payment, I'm not that I'm not that concerned about it. All right, so I think we're set with these. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, oh, you know what? Let's add some decorating. We'll move these out of the way. We'll get this back in order, make sure we are centered. And I'm going to grab Holiday Florals by Amber Plans Her Day for this. I think it would just be fun with 4th of July. You only get, you know, one week of spreads if you want to celebrate for the 4th, but you can use other stickers throughout the month. I don't typically do an entire month with 4th of July stickers because my birthday is in July. So no offense, America, but I typically like to celebrate my birthday more than I like to celebrate <laughs> our country's independence. I don't know. That's just me. When I think of July, I think of my birthday over, uh, over the 4th, but <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. All right, so we have these fun 4th of July stickers. If you have this sticker book, this is definitely one to pull out next week. So just a reminder of that. My patrons were very helpful with reminding me 
what sticker books had 4th of July stickers because I feel like my brain is kind of coming down from such a crazy two months that, first of all, my office isn't finished unpacking, so I couldn't find all of my stickers because they're still just kind of around and not put away where they should be. But I'm just coming down from such a stressful, busy time that I, I don't know, my, I'm not, my ability to remember things is not, uh, is not up to par. Okay, so I was going to use, actually, let's talk about this for a second. The sticker book does have bullets. Normally I'll color code my paydays. And I was thinking I was going to use these, which are um, just white paper bullets because you can color them in. These are from Proud Sticker Designs too. But then I remembered this has bullets. I just don't think the bullets in here are enough for what I need to do. They'll be enough for my full-time job payday. And that will be on, so I'll actually have five paydays in July, which is going to be really helpful for the first month of homeownership. It's gonna be very helpful. And having my first mortgage payment due for August. Um, my mortgage is a decent amount higher than my rent was. Um, plus there's an HOA fee and my monthly HOA is four fifty. dollars So it's going to be a big budgeting adjustment because it's more expensive to live in a house than an apartment, or at least the house that, that I chose. Okay, so, oh wait, I need one more of those. Well, that was perfect timing to have just one left. So this is where I'm going to, that's my, the initials for my full-time job. And then we need some plan with Elise icons, plan with Elise revenue icons. This is a little orange. It's okay. Oops. Woo! I almost drew all over that. That be, almost became a page of red bullets. Okay. So we're going to do some of these paydays. I need, how many Tuesdays are there? Four Tuesdays. So this is for Patreon payday. Two, three, four. And not, um, these are going to be, that was Patreon. These are going to be for Etsy, which pays out. You can choose, I think, weekly or monthly. Um, I choose weekly. So that's for Etsy. And next to these, I'll write the amount of the pay. Then we have... Um, I have two sponsorship payments for July 1st. The reason I keep putting the cap back on is first of all, because I don't want to get marker everywhere, but also because I don't want to color all these in until I know exactly how many I will need. Oh wait, actually I have more because I also have an affiliate payout. Then let me just do two more, which I think might be it, but we'll see. So this is for affiliate, oops, affiliate payout. This one down here we will do for YouTube. And this one over here for um, Happy Planner affiliate. I think that may be it for the month. And then let's color in one more for the color coding. I'm, I will say this video, I should have said this in the beginning. The past few months, I've talked a little bit about where my money is going to go in July while I've done the decorating video. I'll chat about that a little bit, but I'm actually not going to break down the numbers. Budgets are something that, while personal, can also take some time to figure out. And until I figure out what it's all going to look like for me in July... I don't know how much of it I'll actually be sharing um, online. So I do kind of want to give you that heads up that today we're not going to be talking about exactly how much money is going to go into different categories. But hopefully you'll still hang around and uh, stick around and, and watch. I forgot about these florals. These are really pretty. I'll have to use them soon. Okay, now we have the monthly spending. So this is a great way, We're, I'm just gonna label this as I talk about it. Starts on, July 1st starts on a Saturday. 
Using something like this is a really good way to see your spending as an overview. Because while you may see it week to week, or you may not look at it at all, when you can see it with an entire month at a glance, for me, it's really helpful to realize where I may be overspending and where I need to cut back a little bit more. So we're going to get this dated. Of course, it's undated because people can use it at any time. You could also use it for anything. There's plenty of people that I know that cover up this section and um, use it for other things like habit tracking, wellness, step tracking, all of that kind of stuff. 28, 29, 30, and... 31. So then I have my monthly spending. I think we'll just take, just do that. Because this is an, I have an inkjet, not a laser jet printer, it smudges, which is annoying. All right, now let's pretty this up a little bit with some stickers. That right there. And trim off. And then I think one more. I feel like I'm going to keep saying this until it happens, but I apologize for my nails. <laughs> really, I just have one broken nail. The rest are just a little messy from the move. I'm trying to uh, find the time to get a manicure. Today is Tuesday. I'm hoping to do it today, but uh, we, we shall see. It's something I really should have done on Sunday when I had the time before I went back to work after <clears throat> a long weekend, but I, I didn't, didn't do it. So <clears throat> I'm suffering the consequences now, or maybe you're suffering it. <laughs> All right, we have my monthly overview. We have my monthly spending. Now let's jump into this section, which is typically accounts and debts. I change it because um, aside from my house now. I don't have any debts, so I don't really need to track this, but instead I use it for plan with Elise earnings. So we're going to write plan with, and where this chain, where this is different from these red dots that I put down here is because the red dots are payouts. This is upcoming. So for example, We'll do the date, the brand, um, what do I normally do here? Date, brand, oh, I remember. We're gonna write amount and then paid. Oftentimes, as a creator, you don't get paid until after the um, project or whatever is finished and maybe even sometimes a month later. So this is where I'm going to mark the payments that may come in the future. So for example, if you purchase from Happy Planner using my affiliate link during the month of July, I won't get paid on that until September. And that's if you meet the earnings threshold. There needs to be like a certain amount before it's paid out which is really how all affiliate programs are. But like hell of a plan, if you buy from using my link in July, I'll get paid out for that at the uh, usually on August 1st, so the first of the next month. Um, so it definitely varies between brands. Amazon is also a two-month payout. So sometimes when affiliates are pushing <laughs> product or pushing links to use, it's also because we know that it's going to help us in the future when um, a month may not, you know, be as, bring in as much money or something. Okay, so these pages are done. This one, I don't know that I'm going to decorate it. Um, and then we want to jump to weekly expenses. So the first week is going to be 73279. And I'm going to keep date, expense, description, amount, but we're going to change it to cat for category, the category of spending and PMT for the payment method, because I'm using a lot of different payment methods right now, whether it's PayPal or a credit card or an Amazon gift card or a Visa gift card, things like that to really keep track of that spending. Finally, we have the currently page for July. And 
I've been going back and forth, excuse me, all year long trying to decide how to use these. I think it's going to be something that changes throughout um, the year and really whatever is coming up is how, you know, might dictate how I use it. So here's what I'm going to do this time. Let's first, can you just figure out, oh, it's over there. I'm gonna have to get up to get it. Maybe we just go all the way across here. I was going to look for my punch for this because it's not on my desk. Okay, um, I have a couple of things, a couple of ideas. So the first one is, Prime Day. Amazon Prime Day is July 11th and 12th. It's not something I always shop. However, if there's ever a time to shop Prime Day, it's right after buying a house because there's a lot of things that I want for the house that I'm pausing on until Prime Day happens. So certain things are outdoor furniture, um, curtains for my living room. What else? A furniture piece for my foyer. Um, I can't quite remember everything, but I do have a lot of things that I want to pick up and I'm going to list them out there for Prime Day. Then over here, I'm going to write down here and throw my pen across my desk. Uh, fun. And the reason I'm writing fun is because there are some expense, there are some upcoming things that are fun that are going to cost some money in July. And this is where I'm going to note these so that I can be mindful of them as I'm drafting my July budget, which I haven't done yet. So I'm going to write Mason, Mason's birthday, my nephew's birthday. Uh, Kel visit because the Kel family is coming to Jersey my birthday and you may be saying Elise why are you writing expenses for your birthday because I'm having a birthday party and um, it's gonna cost some money so <laughs> that I have my birthday um, and then we'll leave one more open for anything else that comes up okay let's jump to financial goals and hopefully I will figure out what my life looks like financially by the end of July. I think it's going to be a little bit of a process. I feel like June, the unexpected expenses were the painters, the additional costs for the moving company. Um, I saw a chiropractor a lot in June because of some neck pain that I've been having that I think is resolved. Hopefully it stays that way. I think it was probably stress related. Um, I had my quarter, <coughs> excuse me, my quarterly water, not my quarterly water. I had my quarterly, uh, neurologist appointment for Botox injections. So there was a lot that cost a lot of money in June and I'm feeling it. I'm definitely feeling it. And financially things are going to be, they're not going to be tight for now. The good news is everything that's been paid is all paid for in cash. The movers were paid for in cash. The painting company was paid for in cash. The um, alarm installation, because I paid for a year of my alarm, all of that is paid off because it was done in cash. That does make things a little bit tighter cash wise, but it's all doable. And I just need to keep working hard <laughs> at all the jobs and get it all to even out. So I think that's where we're going to leave it in terms of this currently style page. Really, this is just enough to kind of get me set up, get me ready to sit down with a cup of coffee, look at my finances a little bit stronger and figure out where my money is going. Things that I will be saving for for as an ongoing basis. Electric, because my, electric my electricity bill is going to be so much higher in a four-story house than it was in an apartment. Home maintenance, home furnishing, and my other regular things like that I say for medical gifts, um, my actual emergency savings 
fun, all of that kind of stuff. So we'll see what happens in terms of chatting about it with the numbers. But right now, this is one of these things that I need to figure out on my own a little bit before I'm ready to talk through it more um, on the internet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link this sticker book you can save using code Elise10. And then of course, Proud Sticker Designs, all the budget stickers you can need. And I'm going to be shopping too, because I need to grab the phone, um, the phone bill. So that is a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you soon.